So for the topic of today's sermon, I want to talk about something that almost every culture, every people, they all talk about, which is good luck. We say it to each other all the time, good luck. We wish you good luck. Good luck on your tests. Good luck in your life. Good luck in your marriage. We always ask, when we go see teachers, we see holy people, we do good things, we always say, oh, bless me with good luck. Oh, I want to have good luck. This is something that has lasted through a long time. Even back in the Buddha's days, 2,500, 600 years ago, this was also a big topic. Luck was a very big thing. Now, someone asked the Buddha, what, what do people need to do or how can I get blessed with luck? What do I need to do? What can you give me to bless me with luck? And so the Buddha gave a certain sermon. And in his sermon, I want to point out just a couple of things. The first thing he said was, if you want to have luck in life or in anything you do, you must remember to do not associate with bad people. Number two, you have to associate with good people. It sounds very obvious. It sounds very simple. But this, these two very straightforward rules will lead you towards luck. Let's see why. If you associate with bad people, well, bad people tend to have problems, tend to have issues with other people. And if they're your friends, their problems become your problems. Instead of taking you higher, they take you lower. Just like if you were to play tennis, if you kept playing with people who were not skilled, people who were less skilled than you, they would pull your skill down. And the other side is also true. You want to associate with good people. Good people are the kind of people that will lead you towards doing good, lead you away from doing evil. Another thing the Buddha mentioned was knowing how to take care of the people that is your duty to take care of. Your teachers, your elders, your family, your husband and wives, your children. You have to take responsibility and take care of those responsibilities. If you do, luck will follow you. Then the Buddha also said, don't do evil things. Do good things, and luck will follow you wherever you go. Just listening to these couple rules that he listed, and there's, there's a lot more, there's 30 in that whole verse, I'm not going to go over all of them, but just listening to these four, five, six rules, what can we notice? Who is the one giving you luck? Is the Buddha the one who's blessing you with good luck, putting water in your hair or sprinkling holy water on you and making you blessed? Is he giving you the secret numbers to the lottery so you win the lottery later? How is he blessing you? He's blessing you by telling you the way to bless yourself. The holiest person in this room is you, depending on how you act. The worst person in this room is also you, depending on how you act. And so it comes down to this. You want to be a good student? Put in the work. You want to make a lot of money? Put in the work develop their relationships, be a good person, be generous, kind, compassionate. All these things start from you. And once they start from you, the result that you want, good luck, will also come back to you. You're the one who does it. You're the one who will receive it. And so in the future, when you ask for monks for blessings, when you ask the Buddha for blessings and good luck, remember, you are the one who creates your own luck. You are the one who creates your own fortune. Therefore, take responsibility and do the best you can so that you can get the best results possible for yourself and the people you love around you.